Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life and welcome to hashtag Tea Tuesday, an open collab hosted by our friends Patty at Life with Patty and Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. For today's Tea Tuesday, I'm going to share with you this book called The Uncertainty of Letting Go by Shannon Cox. And Shannon is one of our YouTube friends. She it, her channel name is Pages and Polish. So Shannon um, published this book, which is available on Amazon in 2021. So she has a few videos on her channel talking about the book, talking about the illustrator and all of that. Let me read what the back says. It says, in the midst of dealing with the grief of losing her mother, Amy must navigate through rocky waters of the reap reappearance of her estranged father. The uncertainty of letting go is a story of grief and forgiveness and the beauty of finding your way home. And um, Shannon lives in Canada. She lives in Alberta and she is actually from Newfoundland. And she, and if you've watched any of her videos, you know that because she shares that with you. And in the back, um, which I always like to, to read about the acknowledgements. And so she acknowledges a few people, acknowledges her husband husband Ed, her only daughter Anna, her mom Janet, and her sister Kelly. And her sister Kelly, um, when I started first watching Shannon's channel, um, she would talk about Kelly and they'd go shopping and then Kelly um, got pregnant and then she had a baby and so Shannon became an aunt for the first time and then um, she has since had another baby so she has a little boy so um, Shannon is the proud and, and happy auntie to two, uh, to a niece and nephew. So to, to Kelly's kids. So that's wonderful. Shannon had been telling us that she was writing a book. In anticipation of reading the book, I was wondering how much of her life would be kind of included in her book. So there's a few little things. The main character, Amy, loves to read. She even visits a, a bookstore with her boyfriend as Shannon um, loves to read. And it's Christmas time, which I'm not surprised because Shannon loves the cold and she loves Christmas time. So that's the setting of the book. The book is a really quick read. You can read it in you know an hour or so and um, it's it takes place over five days between Christmas Christmas Eve or so and New Year's so um, I want to tell you I wrote some notes just so I wouldn't forget a few things that I wanted to share with you so just a reminder that the book The Uncertainty of Letting Go by Shannon Cox um, is available on Amazon Shannon also is in the process right now of writing a second book which I'm um, really looking forward to I think she is saying it's gonna come out by Christmas of this year or in the fall. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. So the book, the main character of this um, book, her name is Amy and she's 34 years old and she lives in a small town in the town that she grew up in. Amy's mother has uh, passed away about five months prior. So all of a sudden, Amy gets a phone call from her father and she hasn't seen her father in about 25 years. And so here it is, the holidays and it's a happy time and, and, um, and now she gets this call from her father and she's wondering what in the world, you know, where have you been? Um, and he wants to get together. He wants to see her. So Carol's a good friend of hers um, And she tells her and Carol's Carol even Carol says, you know Well, what is your father? What's your father doing in town? What does he want? And so they're you know, they're talking about it and then um, Kelly she's also another friend of Amy's the main character And so she's telling them what's happening with her father So anyway one night they um, after work they go to the local pub and they're having some drinks and some um, and they're dancing Dancing, and then all of a sudden, from across the room, <laughs> she, um, Amy's, Amy sees um, someone that she knew when she was younger and um, had a little crush on, I think, or maybe even dated or something in high school. And his, this character's name is Jonathan. And so he lives in a, a city that's, um, I want to say, is it 10 or 20 minutes um, outside of town? So he's there for the holidays, coming back into town to, you know, meet up with friends and or see family. I think, it's, yes, his parents live live in town. So Jonathan and Amy start talking and um, they're going to be going over to a um, Christmas party at Carol's, I think the next evening or something. And so she invites Jonathan and he says, yeah, I'll meet you there. And um, he, when he comes, Jonathan gives Amy a little gift. It's like a crystal um, on a silver chain or something. And I thought that was interesting because in real life, Shannon does like crystals. <laughs> and so I did write down a quote that I wanted to share. Um, so Amy says this about, 
about her mother in the book. She says, my mother may have not been perfect, but she was mine and she loved me with a ferocity and grace that always kept me safe and thriving. And I just thought that quote was just so amazing because, you know, when we certainly when we miss someone that is no longer with us, we think about how they made us feel. And I think with those words, um, Shannon really um, drew us closer to the main character and had us really just start feeling how Amy was feeling about the loss of her mother. And so from then on, Amy starts spending some time um, with Jonathan. So Jonathan eventually um, invites Amy to go to his parents' home to see his parents. And um, I thought it was very sweet when she got there. Jonathan's mother, who knew Amy's mother when she was alive, um, told her a couple of stories about how she knew her or how they came in contact, um, of course, in this small town that they lived in. And so, of course, Amy appreciated that. The next day or a couple days goes by and all of a sudden, you know, Amy's at home and there's a knock on the door and she goes to the door and um, there's a young man and he's asking for Sean which is Amy's dad and she said no or who are you looking for and he said Sean he's like I'm Ezra and he said who are you her, um, Sean's girlfriend and she's like no I'm I'm Sean's daughter who are you and she says and the young man says I'm Sean's son and so Amy was furious she was upset because you know she had asked her dad she had asked her dad you know do you have any other children and he said no I'm married but you know so he got remarried after um, he left Amy and her mother but um, you know and he did have a son but he had told her um, when he first got there that he didn't so he had lied and so anyway Amy does invite Ezra in and um, she then proceeds to call um, her dad at the hotel and invite him over and so he's excited he hasn't been you know they haven't really spent much time together since he's been in town so he comes over of course Amy didn't tell her dad that Ezra was there and so he comes over and of course he's shocked and surprised and now he's got some explaining to do and Ezra asked the question why didn't you tell us about Amy and so he said because I failed with Amy and he said I ran away when things got hard I was embarrassed and I wanted to get a fresh start with your mom and so he was honest about it and he just put it out there and he just said you know I, I failed and that happens you know we um, understand that about relationships I mean sometimes it's just hard we just don't want to be where we are and so we just want our, our temptation is to run away and um, and I think that that was um, poignant that um, Shannon included that because I think that gave us some food for thought as we're reading that, that, um, you know, was that the right thing to do and why wasn't it? And there's a lot of relationships that, you know, we have in our lives that we have to, you know, take a pause on and just say, okay, wait a minute, you know, are we going to be a failure about this? Or are we going to just, um, you know, man up and do what we're supposed to do? So, um, so he was honest about that. Um, but you know what, in the end, Amy was happy to have a brother. She had grown up, you know, thinking she was an only child. And so, um, you know, she even invites Ezra to stay at her house for a couple of days. She tells him, you know, to keep in touch with her. So I thought that was very forgiving and loving and kind of her and just showed you kind of you know what kind of a person you know Amy was and now it's New Year's Eve and um, Jonathan and Amy you know again go to Carol's for a party Carol's quite the party thrower <laughs> so um, anyway and then they they enjoy themselves at the party but then Jonathan says you know I um, would like to take you someplace and so he takes her out to um, a place where there's a boat where his dad has a boat and they go out on the water and she just starts crying and and she's upset and she tells him and he Jonathan seems like he has a heart of gold because he just listens to her he lets her go through her emotions and he says look opens up a bag he has a bottle of champagne and two glasses he's she, he says we're going to um, you know give a cheers to your mom and so Amy goes into a speech and she just thanks her mom for everything that she's you know helped her to become and for the life that she's had and provided for her and they cheers her mom and and so that's a wonderful way to end the story knowing that you know even though um, Amy has lost her mother she now has a new relationship in 
and um, Jonathan. Her father, who knows if they'll continue to have a relationship. It seems like they will be because, again, Amy was very forgiving um, to her father. Um, even though she had a lot of hurts and she was hurt by him over the years, um, it seems like, you know, she has made the decision for herself that um, she is going to um, let go of that hurt and that pain and um, be able to move forward with Jonathan and be able to let him into her life and her heart. So it's a great read. It's a fast read. And in support of our wonderful YouTube friend Shannon, I highly suggest that you um, look that book up. And so thank you guys. Today, um, did I tell you what I was drinking for Tea Tuesday? Oh my gosh, I'm drinking water with um, Propel in it, the one that is lots of vitamins. So I'm drinking lots of water because it is hot here. I've only been outside to check the mail, that's it. So, all right guys, that's all for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Let me know what you think about that storyline and about those characters. And, um, and thank you, Shannon, for sharing such a wonderful book and I look forward to your next book. All right guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.